Former Vice President Mike Pence, former President Donald Trump on January 6, 2021. After the January 6, 2021 attack, former Vice President Mike Pence, who was written as a possible candidate within the Republican Party, recaptured the party's attention after Tuesday's bruising results. Shortly after the end of the election day, the Wall Street Journal, the upcoming memory of the upcoming memory, Pence revealed new details about their direct interactions with President Donald Trump. January 6 in Capital, USA Former Vice President and potential 2024 contestants were evacuated for the first time. Shortly after the 2020 presidential elections, he wrote to Trump to accept the truth and prepare to prepare for running again in 2024, but Trump was tired. Pence said that Trump received a phone from Trump in 2021 and pressured Trump to sign up for the convention of the Congress to overthrow the election results. Pence said it wasn't in power. You are very honest, Pence Trump said to him. Hazar, he will hate your hundreds of thousands of intestines, people will think you're stupid. In addition, on January 4, 2021, Trump and his lawyer John Eastman, together with Trump and his lawyer John Eastman, announced that a vice president of Pence had the authority to overthrow the lawyer, stammered, unilaterally. Well, the courts have never been tested in the courts, so I think it's a clear question. Vice President Mike Pence left and Mark Short, a officer at the Oval Office on January 4, 2020. When Pence pointed to Trump, he said that the president did not pay attention to the dismantling of Vice President Eastman's arguments. Pence assistants and consultants said that Trump's former commander for a long time would never put forward his special conversations with Trump for four years. However, after sharing his feelings about the Capitol attack and Trump for months, the Pence gradually emerges more before the release of his memory next week. The story continues. On Wednesday, after midterm exams, an excerpt from Pence's book, The God of Help to Me, was among the Republicans who watched the rapidly developing field. According to the Republican Republicans, speaking with Yahoo News, the timing was perfect for the perfect chance to capture Trump at the weakest moment, and potentially the Pence was a perfect chance to raise Pence as an alternative to Trump as an alternative to Trump. In the quote, Pence said on January 6, how he combined his finger in the Secret Service detail, not to leave Capitol and walked to a safe place even if the rebels went down. He and his team. While talking at the Pence Heritage Foundation on October 19, the promotional material for Pence's approaching book in the hands of a viewer member. And for the first time, Pence also details Trump's surprisingly sheep encounter days after the uprising. Pence said, I my met the president on January 11. He looked tired and his voice looked weaker than usual, Pence Pence wrote. Trump asked him and his family, and on January 6, he wrote, asking if he was scared. No, Pence Pence replied. I was angry. You and I had differences that day, we infuriated me by the president and people who tear capital. The program for Pence's book launch next week is already full of the chance to make news. On Monday night, ABC News will sit with David Muir for an interview. On Wednesday, it will be the subject of a CNN City Hall organized by anchor Jake Tapper. It is also expected to attend the Republican Jewish Coalition meeting and mix with party megadons the next weekend. In addition, Trump, who has repeatedly mocked the official launch of the 2024 offer for the White House, can also receive support from him. The last regiment for Trump's launch is Tuesday, the publication date of Pence's book.